Good morning, welcome to another weekly vlog. This week, again, is quite a chilled one, I won't lie. Today, me and Guy are gonna go and see a family friend of his. So I won't actually be filming too much today, but I've got a fun day in London tomorrow. I'm going to a shoe event. I haven't had my week fixed today, and I actually, f I feel ravenous. How have your weeks been though? Let me know. I found out, uh, literally like one of the last days of last week, that The Sims is gonna be made into a movie like margot robbie's production company and i can't remember what her name is but she produced loki or directed it i want to say it's helena helena someone i can't remember what her name is though they're gonna be like doing it together which is very interesting i was just thinking about all these different things that like happens in the sims and i completely forgot something that i would love to happen <laughs> You know in like Sims 2 when like you had enemies you could go and put a bag of poo by their front door and set fire to it and then you'd like run away or whatever. They'd knock on the door and run away and then the people would open the door and they'd see that there's like a, a bag of fire and they'd have to stamp it out and then they'd have shit on their shoe. I don't know, that just like unlocked a really random memory. <laughs> I was like, oh my fucking god, I remember that. It was iconic. I used to play The Sims so much as a kid. Like, I don't know when the first Sims came out. Like, the first Sims. When, like, you could do nothing but really, like, be in your house and people would come over. Um, I played that on my auntie's computer because I didn't have Sims back then. But, like, I don't know how then I came across playing it. I think she, like, my cousin might have been playing it. And I was, like, watching it. Or maybe I had Sims 2 already. And then she said, oh, I've got the first Sims. I'm not sure. I can't even tell you I've I've played all of them and Sims 3 for me is the best I'm sorry get me cars get me pet fantastic and the fact that it's just like all one open world people were talking about like the the history of like the goth family all these like conspiracies and things that like happen in the sims that are like canon and i was like wait what what do you mean i was just sat i was just sat playing and building houses you know my entire life on that game at the beginning of games i'd like click on the families and i'd kind of like read the descriptions of the families but that was kind of like as far as i went i didn't really look into i didn't really look into the story of things i suppose i saw a tiktok of someone talking about like um the goth family and how like bella goth is actually quite an icon there's a whole story to be told there and there's aliens and agnes crumplebottoms involved and time travels involved and god it all just got a bit overwhelming actually i watched a tiktok and she was telling me literally everything in like three minutes or something and i was like girlie i can't i literally cannot retain any of that information that you've just like been talking at me for about three minutes i, I don't understand what you're saying the next day amy she also played sims i don't know how long she's been playing sims for but i remember back in lockdown um we played sims together we went live on instagram and like showed each other our houses she's so good at making houses next to mine just don't even look at mine fantastic house building from you amy but the other day she sent me a video link to plumbella again never really watched any sims youtubers or anything like that i just played the game i just played the game i didn't watch people uh they're these two american women on tiktok and they are so so funny i think they're mates and they're so so funny but only recently have i found them it's like the last year or two i found them on tiktok and like i followed them so i was like oh actually you're really funny i like them and they have like little silly challenges i think they've got a youtube channel when i watch people play the game I then want to play the game like I don't want to sit and watch people play it but I understand that obviously that's a humongous market loads of people enjoy uh, watching other girlies play play the game T to be fair then at least it gives you like house inspo or like life inspo I guess for like what to do with your sims or whatever Amy sent me like this huge four hour video from Plumbella Plumbella being like this is like the sims history or whatever and this is like the drama and this is everything you need to know and it's four hours long and apparently um amy said she's quite far into it she's literally down the rabbit hole now and she said you know give me a message you know when you've started it and let's have a chinwag and i was like absolutely but i started watching them the in between mr in between um i started watching that last night they're only 20 minute episodes actually so i think we'll finish that quite quickly and then i'll probably like watch this a little bit later uh the plumbella 
video because I am interested. I feel like I've, I've missed the boat. I feel like I should have been learning this when it was happening and it would have been like fresh in my head, but like I wasn't at all. I won't lie to you, like when I was younger, all I'd do is play Sims or I'd play Age of Empires or Nintendogs. Like, it, it, quite different. Um, Age of Empires was like a war, a war game. And like you'd pick if you were like you'd be like the Turkish you could you could literally pick you could be the English if you want to but they were a bit shit the Turkish girlies did they have the elephants I can't remember but you'd you could like build a castle and like it, obviously you, you had to have like food and wood and things like that and like certain amounts of those things you could then go to the castle and like just get loads of elephants and when I was younger I just wanted to buy all the I just wanted all of the elephants so all of my villagers would be like farming and everything and then we would have loads of elephants I'd have like soldiers and archers as well but like I love my elephants and I never took them to war I only took a couple to war and then I kept them <laughs> they were just in the village chilling I loved them and then you had like the stables and things like that and like I feel like I was pretty good at it back in the day but like I I mean I played like Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto as well but like I'm a Sims girl at heart I did enjoy like I enjoyed Call of Duty I played like Modern Warfare 3 and the zombie apocalypse one but like I don't know I just got very tense and didn't enjoy it very much and I was like actually you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go make houses I'm gonna go make houses and like create an EastEnders worthy a soap opera I'm gonna go create my own soap opera and I even had Sims uh is it Sims 2 I think I had Sims 2 on the DS as well even though it was not as good obviously as the computer one I think they had it on Xbox as well I was an Xbox kid when I was younger um a lot of people were PlayStation girlies I was an Xbox girly I played Halo with my dad and everything like sorry she's a gamer girl she's a gamer girl but nine times out of I always went back to Sims always I'm not really so much now. I don't play a lot of Sims at all, actually, ever. I can't remember the last time I played it. Maybe, like, not this year. I haven't played it this year. I want to say maybe, like, early last year I played The Sims, and, like, I haven't touched it since. Going round in circles out. We're going to go back round to the beginning. We're going to learn about The Sims history at some point by Plumbella. Plumbella. Plum Plumbella. And then, like, I'll literally just be constantly talking about it to you guys on here. I'm on week eight of Couch to 5K now. What the hell? what the hell where has where has the weeks gone i literally was like looking back on uh, my couch to 5k app and i was scrolling to the front and i was like fuck at the end of january i wasn't running this long i literally couldn't even run for five minutes i was struggling during like the one minute 30s and the two minute runs and now we're in april oh no in april we're in march we're still in march don't you worry we're still in march but i'm in march like literally two months later and I'm, I've just done my 28 minute run. 28. That's nuts to me. That is nuts to me. And like, I've done it. I hated it. I absolutely hate it. 25 minute, the last 25 minute run I did. I was like, yeah, this Couch to 5K app is my bitch. Actually, like, <laughs> I don't really understand paces anyway. Like I, I was going fast though, particularly towards the end. I was running up that hill. And I even put running up that hill on. And I was like, yeah, I am. I'm actually running up that hill. I mean, Stranger Things, I'm running up that hill. Yeah. Anyway. Also, look at these baby plants that guys managed to get out of the um, adult ones, I was going to say. Look at that. That's, that looks like Groot. <laughs> this is the adult one. This is a Chinese money leaf. Honestly, one of my favourite plants. We got this from B&M for five pounds, literally like over a year ago. It was one of the first ones we ever got. So, I love it. I don't know why, I just love the little like discs. They're so fun. So, look at these. I didn't think I'd be able to get anything out of them. I do actually need to water them. Um, but look, it's all coming together. I need to get some planters. I'm actually gonna get my dad to make me some like wooden ones, like this one over here. Ignore the grass. Not that size, but like some nice little like long ones, like the little troughs that you can get. Is it a trough? But, like nice little long thin ones that I can put along here. And then these ones are in the planter. I really didn't expect to be able to actually get these. I thought I'd fucked it. But there's actually quite a few sprouting about. Oh, 
I'm so excited. And then these dahlias, I think I've shown you these before, um, but I'm finally gonna put these in the troughs, I think, this weekend. It does say March, March onwards, you can plant them. Oh, it says March onwards. And I mean, it's late March that they're getting planted, but you know what? At least they're getting planted. I need to give myself a break. I didn't say good morning. Good morning. It's Tuesday and I'm heading in to London. I've got an event. I will take you along to it. Uh, I'm seeing Amy and I'm actually seeing my manager Amy at the event and Amy and then we're gonna go and meet up with the rest of the girls and have a cute little like I think we're gonna go to like a coffee shop ignore the washing I've just put a wash on um, it's currently 7.05 I've got my MOT um, I can drop that off at 8 o'clock they said any time from 8 o'clock go and drop it off so I'm gonna drop it off at 8 and then my train is at half 8 uh, why do I do this to myself? I don't know. But this got to be done. Um, yeah, it's going to be a cute day. I will take you along, obviously, with me. I don't know how much I'm going to film in London because, obviously, it's London. There's a lot of crime in London. I, I, oh, my God, I didn't actually say to you guys um, because I wasn't in vlogging mode and, actually, it was, like, quite close to the show. But, basically, when me and Abby went down to see Mamma Mia, we were walking from the Strand, that road, uh, we're like six the musical is i only remember that because i remember seeing it we were walking from that direction up to mamma mia which is like literally around the corner we we're kind of like chatting shit and just what standing about this lad came over like he came over and went excuse me sorry and I, I literally just flinched i don't know why i haven't i don't know why i think it must just be some sort of reaction because i i am on guard when i'm in london i'm literally like are you about to try and scam me? Like, what's happening? I had my phone out like this. I was just like talking to Abby. Abby had her phone out as well. Mm hmm. And he comes walking over and I go, <laughs> I literally just <laughs> grab my phone and go like this and go, what? What? And he was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, are you okay? And I went, yeah, what do you want? <laughs> and he was like, where you come from? And I was like, why do you want to know? I literally, I was so defensive. My defences just went boom because I am so on edge. And he was like, where are you from? Where are you from? And Abby, like, we went, and we were like, why? Why do you want to know? And he was like, oh, well, where have you come from? I don't want to go there because, you know, the type of reaction you're giving me. And I was just like, not you trying to gaslight me, bestie. Like, you probably are trying to scam me. And I have just, lit like, both of us have literally just gone, bah! Well, Abby reacted to me going, bah! Not to the bloke. Yeah, then he was like, oh, yeah, where are you from? Where are you from? And I wouldn't tell him. I said, oh, why do you want to know? Why do you want to know? And then Abby lied and said, oh, from Cambridge. And he was like, oh, but I thought Cambridge was supposed to be nice. And I went, it's a city. <laughs> Can't remember what else he said now. But then he just walked off. And I went, is he, was he trying to scam us? I don't know, but you know what? If he was trying to scam us and that reaction just put him off, fantastic. Because you just gotta be so careful, especially in London as well, because I don't know if you guys are regular London goers. If you're not and you're gonna go at some point, be so aware. Once I've been in a coffee shop with friends and we've had our phones out just on the table. They've had, they've been working on their laptops, like the cat meme. People come over, well not people, one person might come over and they get a sheet of paper. They'll have like a distraction, like something really confusing on their bit of paper and like your phone will be like on the coffee table and they'll put over it, they'll go over it and they'll go, they'll be like shouting at you or they'll be like trying to confuse you and like just like pointing at this and then you'll be looking at them like, what? Are you even talking about and then he'll go to take your phone and the bit of paper to go away with it and then you'll look back at the table your phone will be gone and he'll be out of the coffee shop how nuts is that it's just nuts i need to like get eating my breakfast um because it's now 10 past 7 i need to do my hair although my hair is so greasy i'm just gonna scrape it back i'll do my hair gotta do my makeup gotta figure out what to wear on that normally takes a little while
<laughs> We've got vitamin D shot. I've never had one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is orange, ginger, and turmeric. I'm not going to enjoy this. Guys. It's going to be horrifying. So will that make it work? Cheers. 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 Ready? Ready? Go. Go. is absolutely stunning. Good morning, how are we? It is Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Um, and I've just posted my fifth episode, I was gonna say. It's not an episode at all. My fifth video. 30 days of spring outfits. Don't ask me why I decided that would be a good idea, but here we are. I've got my USA Pro top on, and the leggings actually, I've got them both on. I don't know why I decided to do that to you, that was a bit strange. Um, but I feel like I kind of merge into the sofa. We went to an event, which you saw, and then I went for lunch with my manager. She's lovely, she's so, so sweet. Yeah, we were chatting sh for a little while, and then I went and met up with the girls. And like, we haven't sat and like, spoken to each other and hung out in such a long time, like all together. So that was really, really nice. And like, we were all just like chatting. I woke up this morning and I nearly just didn't go for my run and fell asleep again. Um, my alarm went off and I don't know why, I was in a foul mood this morning, absolutely foul. And I was like, I don't wanna go for a run and today's gonna be a shit day and I'm gonna have an absolute flop of a day and everything is terrible. And then I went for a run <laughs> and now the sky is <laughs> and suddenly this day has turned around. I hate the fact that they say fitness is good for your mental health and so is vitamin D because it really just reminds me how fragile, not fragile, that's not the correct word, but how silly sometimes the human brain can just be because the way that literally I woke up this morning, it was grey and cloudy outside. I was already in a bit of a crap mood and I woke up and I was just like, today's just gonna be awful. And I've just gotten back from my run and I've I managed to soldier through my negative thoughts again because I was like, oh, I really can't be asked to run. And I was, I was like running and running and I was like, I got to 10 minutes and I was like, okay, cool, you've done 10. You've got 18 to go. And I was like, you've got 18 to go. I was like, you've got 18 to go. You've got 18 to go. And I was constantly chewing and throwing in my head and I was like, but I can't do it today. I just can't do it. And I was like, well, you're doing it. You're literally doing it. You did it yesterday. So why can't you do it today? And I was like, well, exactly. I was having a lot of like, there's a lot of like yapping going on in my head. I think I got to 18 minutes and I was like, look, you've got 10 minutes now. Look at that clock. Just watch the clock go down because uh, I think like mentally I was like, yeah, okay, 10 minutes. And then I went down to nine and I was like, okay, single digits. And, I, and then I put it away and I looked at it again and it said five. <laughs> and I was like, fuck, you know. Um, Yasmin doesn't chat so much now when you're doing like the longer run. She doesn't chat so much, which I mean is fine, but I do enjoy to have like a little bit of something. You know, tell me, tell me I'm doing a good job. What am I doing? No, I have been looking a little bit more at my pace. So I'm not getting the Strava app and I'm not, showing you guys where I live, unfortunately for you. So today's pace is, where is it? My average pace was 10, <laughs> it was 10. But actually, no, that's not correct because I start my running activity thing at right at the start and I finish it right at the end. So my cool down and my warm up is included in that. The splits, I've got five splits. One of them includes my walking was 8.57. The second one was 7.58, then 8.29 and then 8.17. And then my last one was 11.33. That includes like my warm up or no, uh, the cool down. I mean, I'm not very consistent with my pace. Going from 7.58 to 8.29 to 8.17, I know that I can I can do my pace at another time. Like this now is just keeping it steady, she says. At the moment, I just want to be able to run the 5K and then we'll sort the pace and you know, we'll have a chin wag with myself and be like, right, okay, cool. Now we'll go a little bit faster. It was so funny. I don't know if I told you guys on uh, Saturday, I went for my run instead of Friday. I don't know why I didn't do it Friday because I was picking my sister up and I got home really late. So I was like, well, I'm not doing it on Friday. Absolutely 
that I'll do it Saturday. And my pace was absolutely ridiculous. I was on one on Saturday, including the warm up. I did 8.50, then 7.58, then 7.24, and then 7.17. Yeah, 717. So that was like my fastest run. I was really feeling it. It's so interesting how I'm so used to. So I do like my runs on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday because then I have a day in between. But because it, I, I like threw myself off by not going on the Friday but instead the Saturday. So I had two days off instead in between. And I think that actually did me the world of good. But then I can't do two days rest in between all of my runs because I don't have enough days in the week to do that. <laughs> I was like running rings around my 28 minute run because that was that 28 no that was a 25 and that's when I then got cocky for this week and this week has actually just like thrown me to the dogs I've now got four runs left of the entire program that is nuts that is not I can't believe that I've actually stuck to it I can't believe it and I feel like the only reason that I have stuck to it is because I've made it a routine I've, I've managed to go right okay you haven't got, I suppose I haven't actually got like busy weeks where I'm due out early either. Like I know, I suppose if you guys are working as well and you know that you've got like a set time that you need to be at work, if you can do it before you go to work, like I, to get it out of the way and done with, I don't want that thing in the back of my head to be like, oh, you've, you've got to run later. And the night before, I don't even think about it. I go, oh yeah, I get up at seven and from seven till eight, I'm running and then I've got the rest of the day and then like, I'll go and work and I'll go and do whatever. And in the evening as well, like a lot of the time I have evening plans, whereas like no one sees me in the morning. I might go and do a brunch, but again, that's later. So like I can still run in the morning. I just have a fantastic time. Sorry, I just wanted to keep talking about it. Another line has gone really weird. The clouds are absolutely sending it. They're going crazy. They're going well fast. That's freaking me out actually. I think what I might do is plan some things today because the brain is not correct today guys the brain is not correct oh my god guys look what just turned up bioma are doing body care so here we've got a hydrating body wash and then a hydrating lotion i want to do a smell test open her up real good sorry as well i like match the packaging oh it's a pump shut up what is this it says twist until it pops what way around is it again this way? <gasps> oh, that is stunning. That is glorious. So it treats normal to dry skin. It's got tricetamide complex, beta glucin, and shea butter. Barrier boosting body care. That's stunning. That's so cool. I'm just gonna have that popped on the side of my desk because like it's just so easy to have. Like it's just a little pump. I haven't even got to like pick it up. I just go, done. Oh my God, I'm gonna put this in the shower as well. That's so sick. I'm buzzing about that. I love Bioma. I've literally got some here um, that I bought from Boots a little while ago. So I've got the creamy jelly cleanser and I've also got the balm cleanser. <laughs> I love it. I've also had the rich moisturizer before the pink one. Um, love that. I'm genuinely a huge fan, huge fan of Bioma and I just love the packaging. It's just so fun. Look at that. It's just so, so sick. And I also love, because I'm just so forgetful on like how my skincare regime goes sometimes it even has it even has the little section down the side that's like right you cleanse first then you tone treat moisturize and protect like it's so so handy to have and then on all the other products as well like this one it says the step there so if you're a beginner for skincare it's just so so handy and like i'm buzzing like look look how cute they look together i wish i had the pink one still the moisturizer i got rid of like that i went through that quite quickly but they're so so affordable love you bioma thank you god my family are gonna be jealous i'm about to go and see them now as i'm driving past i'm seeing so much rapeseed in the fields it's all yellow and it's just making me so excited for spring summer i low-key want to just go out and get some photos with it when it, the sun is shining like this because it looks so so nice i love being in suffolk for this reason like as soon as we get to like this time of year until like june july time there's just constant 
fields and fields of rapeseed and I love it. I have just come to Nauton Park. I'm gonna meet up with my family. My nan, my granddad, my mum and my sister. My sister had like a midwife appointment. I don't know if there's some over there. And they went, oh, do you wanna meet up at Nauton Park after our thing? And I was like, yeah. They also just got a new car, my mum and dad, and I think I can see it here. She didn't actually show us her number plate. I'll tell you something that I do need though. Some bloody gum. I always have one of these in my car at all times. I just got a new one the other day. I know they're so expensive, but like the rate that I use them, there's 60 pieces in this one for the little ones. I feel like there's only 10 in there. And like, I do get my use out of them. I've just seen my nan in the corner there. I'm a granddad, they've just gone out of the car. Oh, okay, cool. I've just finished up at Nelton Park and now me, Mum and Meg are gonna head to Matalan and Home Bargains. I haven't been to Matalan for the longest time. I'm so excited. Hopefully they've got some good stuff in to be fair. I normally just look at the home section because the home in Matalan slays. We are here. Where is it? Where is Matalan? Where's the sign? Diddy. Matt and Alvin. Let's go and see what they've got to say for themselves. I don't need a sausage dog. I don't, I don't, but I want it. These gigantic. That smells really nice. It's freesia and cashmere, pomegranate and patchouli. Yeah, sorry, my sister. I've already said in the vlogs anyway, but Meg's pregnant. Look at this. Look. You can't see. Look at her. Look. <laughs> I don't need another bed sheet. Guy will literally like throw this in the bin if I pull up with another one, but it's so nice. That's a lovely towel. I enjoy that a lot. Look at that. What's that for? So Laundry copa. Oh, maybe. I was just looking at the Barbie set. It's £28 for a Barbie. I don't remember Barbies being this expensive, but to be fair, I was more of a Bratz girly when I was younger. Bratz and Polly Pocket. Look, they've even got like the little toothpaste and toothbrushes. Denim Uniqlo bag. It's quite a sleigh. Whoa, they're really interesting. Mm. They're Are you going to buy them? No, For work? <laughs> Sorry she that. loves them really. She's going to pick them up in a minute. Hello, striped trousers alert. Oh, I like these. I did just get some striped trousers from m &S. They were white and blue, whereas these are blue and white. Do enjoy those. But I'm absolutely obsessed. I want this right now. Look how silly it is. It's tiny. <laughs> what size is it? I don't know. Probably new. Oh, it's a newborn. Oh, Meg. Mum. I do like that. Oh, the yellow romper's so do flipping like that. cute. That is so sweet. Meg, the rabbits. That's really long. It is, isn't it? That's six to nine months. Why are babies so long for? <sighs> yellow. Shut up. Shut up right now. I want it. I want one for myself. This is ridiculous. Look how flipping cute this is. It's even got tiny little oh, shorts it. underneath. Shut up. What size is it? Shut up. <laughs> I might have bought something. And look, it's even got the little like shorts or something underneath. I'm absolutely obsessed. Next year she's gonna be living in that. Thank you. I just get a little bit carried away. I won't lie to you. Uh, we're gonna go to home bargains now. Coming in. Here she is. Hello you. Hi. Hello. You look gorgeous girl. Oh that's nice. Yeah, hmm. I like that, yeah. Maya, that duck is absolutely vile. What have you got? What have you got, pretty girl? <laughs> look at you. Here she comes. Hello you. Someone's jealous. Good morning. Today is a good day. A good day. Good day. 
We'll try again. Today is a good day. I've got shooting to do. I'm gonna have a fantastic time. I've got like a bunch that I wanna film. I've got, oh God, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11. I've got 12 outfits that I wanna film before I'm going out with my mum and my sister. If I don't get them all filmed, it's fine. I'm not gonna upload like 12 reels in the next like day. Um, however, I would enjoy to get like a good bunch done. So then like, it just alleviates the stress because especially when you're doing like 30 days of spring outfits, you know, like everybody does. It just, like I said, alleviates the stress. It means that I'm not like, oh my God, I've got to film today. I've got to film today. Otherwise I'm f Like, do you know what I mean? And also because we live in the UK, the blue skies are quite hard to come by. So when you do get a blue sky, those clouds again are moving like Usain Bolt, my friends. They are going crazy. When you get, when you do get a blue sky, you take advantage. So I'm just getting ready now. I've been doing my eyeliner since I was probably about 14 or 15. And I still don't think, I don't think I ever get any better at it. We're going in at 10, 20, should we say 11, 11? Right, okay, cool. It's 25 to nine now, which means I have half eight, half nine, half 10, two hours to film 12 reels. <laughs> Ah, 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 ah. I could do that to be fair. Like some of them are really quick. Some of them require a bit of talking, but my reels normally take about six, seven minutes to film, depending on what they are. I know that's really precise, but like when you've done them for quite a long time and then when you edit them, you can see how long the clips are. Some of them involve like a lot of like getting changed and stuff though. My eyeliner is completely different to the other side. And Guy's off to London to see his friend he met literally through in <laughs> internet. Through internet, guys. He met him through internet. He met him through Twitter and they've been friends for years, I think, on Twitter, but like they first met each other properly in 2022. And we actually went over there last year to meet him and his girlfriend. So, so cute. It's just nuts to me how like all my friends, like a massive portion of my friends I met on Instagram. And like I met Lizzie, who I'm now gonna be a bridesmaid for next year through Instagram. Like she was one of the first girls that I ever met through Instagram. And Guy has mates that he, like lives over in America or Australia and like he just talks to them every day. I just think that's nuts. Like without the internet, you would not have met these people. Like I would not have met, you know, Lizzie, Chloe, Jess, Maria and Amy, any like any online girlies that I have met through Instagram would not have had, would not have even known they existed, let alone met them. And it's just mad to me. And I was actually saying this to um, the Tesco girlies as well that I saw the other day, Freya and Vicky. Like we would not have met if we didn't work at Tesco's. And I, I know it's like, well, yeah, obviously, but it's just, it is just nuts. And I love, I, I love that, that, like, just in your life you come across these people and, like, that's just, like, they're just then in your life. And it's just so interesting. Like, some people come and go, but you know what? Some girlies, they, they're here to stay. I just think that beautiful. <laughs> you can tell that I'm feeling great today compared to yesterday because I'm chatting absolute bollocks. Hope you're having fantastic weeks. Anyway, I know it's the same day you're watching this and I probably already asked you if you're having a fantastic week earlier this earlier in the video, but you know what? I still hope you're having a fantastic week. I need to create a clothes mountain on the floor of all the clothes that I require. And then we're gonna get on to some filming. Also, I don't know if this is correct. I know they say that like, oh, you know, doing makeup, like anything is correct, like nothing's wrong. But I always like to understand if I am doing this correct, right? So I set my face with this. I put this on first, my favorite thing ever, Fix Plus by MAC. These two are literally my favorite setting sprays ever. They last, they make my makeup last so, so well. A lot of the time if I have got black under eyes, it's my fault. It is user's problem, not, not the actual product. And then a lot of the time I let that set and let that just proper be like there. And then I'll put the Rimmel um, setting powder on top in some places, not on my cheeks because I quite enjoy that sort of like dewy glowy queen vibe you know but then like in certain areas like i don't want to be completely glowy and also when i'm getting changed i don't want it just to all come off um so like i do powder like 
the t-zone and then like my eyes and then underneath and then this bit anyway has been six plus by mac so in theory it should stay god my skin is looking glorious today sorry not to flex on my skin but it is i'll go in here oh here you go i can actually look at you now as well the hair is looking particularly interesting uh so ignore that but literally this morning i've obviously moisturized um and i'm still using girly bobby i'm loving it i literally will whack this on and then, did I even put moisturiser on? I don't think I moisturised. And then I put my SPF on. I did this. I've just got this Vichy one. I used that this morning, but I normally use this one on the La Roche-Posé. La Roche-Posé. Um, yeah. Honestly, I know this is so, so expensive. It feels luxe, though. Excuse me. That's like 50, 60 pounds worth of luxe right there, my friends. Um, yeah, I love it. It is so, so good. And I mean, hi. Does my face not give you the results that you require to look and see? I'm not making any sense. These look stunning. No. The naughty ones. Yeah, my sort of caramel ones. I might have, have these you... just to. Uh, you can get um, oh. cheesy ones. These bad boys. Oh. I have those, Abby. Well, yeah. Go on them. What else have I got? Oh, they haven't got the. Um... Oh, salted caramel. Yeah, oh. Oh, it's bold. I do not need another don't jug. Need have, don't I don't, need I oh, it's a don't, jug. yeah. What do you think you of it now if it's a jug? I don't need it. I, uh, but, oh, daffodils in there. Yeah. I don't, but like, oh, I can appreciate please. it. No, he wouldn't. But also, I mean, it is quite stunning. And so is this pillow. Look how nice that is. Bob could, well, good for that. Oh, it does smell. Yeah. What's oh, that? Yeah. Long dress. Oh, summer. Lingerie. Really nice yeah. I enjoy this. Very thin. That's very nice. Oh, I might pick up one of those. Material. That's lovely, yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
I've hidden it now so you can't see that actually like half of my hair doesn't fit in my bun. Um, what comes out of the wardrobe must go back in the wardrobe. I've also got like clean washing in there as well but like it all needs to be hung up and put away. And do I want to do it? No. But if I film then I'm accountable and it'll get done. So let's do that. Good afternoon. Yes, I have approached you in the afternoon actually. It's half one. I'm actually in costume. This isn't pajama pajamas. I've just been shooting a really really fun ad this morning. It was quite a tight turnaround um, and I had a little bit of a spiral to begin with but I think it turned out really well and hopefully maybe it will be live by the time I'm talking to you. I'm not sure. Anyway, happy Good Friday. I didn't even know it was Good Friday today. It's the end of March. It's the end of March, we're about to go into April. Like, where is this year going? It's going ridiculous. This afternoon, we're heading over to my grandparents. We're gonna have some fish and chips and chill. Actually, I'm gonna head over there a little bit earlier because I am gonna finally get some bits to create some planters for the garden. I have really wanted to put like a little bit of pizzazz into the garden, but because we're renting, I've always been a bit like, oh, can't really be bothered, it's not worth doing anything permanent but actually like those planters will be just quite nice little additions and you know what like in a year or two when we actually decide to leave I can take it out and take them with me. Fantastic. So yeah that's the plan of action for today but I need to edit you. I've been really bad with editing this week so I need to really knuckle down in the next like three hours and really like get it all down. Good evening. We've just gotten home, had a fantastic fish and chips, although the curry sauce was very curry-y. And like, I don't know if it's because we've had worse uh, uh, curry sauces before, um, but like this one was really strong. Like it, it literally felt like I was having like a tikka masala curry with my fish and chips. And I mean, is that what it's always supposed to take, taste like? I don't know. But um, we also got some decking wood for our planters. This sounds horrifying. I am washing my hair before I cleanse my face. I'm not in my costume pajamas now. These are actually my actual pajamas. They are different to my um, costume pajamas. But they do look similar. I know they do look really similar. Um, I even get confused myself when I uh, when I use them. <laughs> but I thought I would finish off this vlog just taking my makeup off. You know, this might be what you're doing right now, taking your makeup off and watching me on the side or something. So I hope you had a fantastic week. I've probably said that a variety of times in this vlog. Um, I hope you're having a fantastic Easter Sunday, beginning of it, end of it. I hope you have a fantastic April or rest of March or, you know, just year. Have a fantastic time. I've just got my Curel uh, cleanser. This is actually quite stunning. People ask about the um, eye fog and to that, I will say, like I can do this now, eyes are fine, but I feel like if anybody had just any cleanser on, wiped their face with a flannel, or you know, just washed their face, you'd get eye fog. Unless there is a particular, you know, makeup remover that doesn't for a fact, like if that's like tried and tested, whatever, then fair enough. But I, I swear that just like these old cleansing oils or cleansing balms, they just do give you a foggy eye. It doesn't matter how much you pay. This weekend is gonna be really fun. I'm actually seeing a load of my mum's side of the family. Sunday, I'm going to the harvester with my immediate family. And we're gonna have a fun little harvester. And I think dad might be creating some planters for me, the absolute legend. And then I might, as well, be seeing Lizzie on Monday, which is a really last minute potential plan. Which is nice because then I've got a right busy old um, weekend. Although to be fair, I've had quite a busy end of the week anyway. I feel very lucky that I can have such a busy week. I'm excited. Let me know what you guys got up to this weekend. Were you working? Were you seeing family? Let me know. Let me know what your vibes are. I hope you had a fantastic time anyway. And I hope you've had a uh, had an Easter egg. At least one. Love you lots. And I'll catch you next week for another vlog. Wonder what I'll get up to. What will happen next week? Don't know. Maybe I'll have some planters.